like the most maze-like levels in the game. So definitely recommend just, you know, safe state and practicing, practicing the route over and over again. Now, uh, if you want a little extra defense for the final boss, you can wear uh, the Nitro Boost. Um, if you want more health, you can do Knuckle Mole. Knuckle Mole, I mean, it, uh, you don't actually get that much more damage. I think it says like three damage overall. Um, but yeah, just start. Uh, we're just gonna be running right now. Here, you want to be looking. Uh, you want to be looking at the right side of your screen. They're gonna be enemy. They're gonna be these blue goose enemies, and you just want to like react to where they are because this is a long stretch. And you're not gonna be able to despawn them. Like I said, this is gonna be a very just a lot of enemy dodging reacting to where they are. Um, and usually turning the wrong way can usually get you killed. So, you know, just practice this session over and over again. These guys, uh, make sure you're always running full speed past them. They can shoot like a little uh, shot at you, which can be pretty dangerous. We can do it. But yeah, if you do get hit by that, actually, that's a safe back to me. Yeah, see, very, very easy to uh, get surrounded somewhere. But yeah, I definitely want to show you what could happen if you're not moving fast enough. But yeah, like I said, we're looking at the right side of the screen. Just reacting to where these goose things are. Um, should be pretty easy, but if they surround you, it can be pretty bad. And they have pretty wide bodies, so. Which is usually happen. Usually, the wide bodies are pretty favorable to us because when there's a bunch of bottom you, they get stuck and they can't follow you as easily. Yeah, almost no enemies here are gonna be as fast as you. There's only be one, I'll talk about it when we get there. Yeah, but this guy. Going the wrong way it can get you killed. Um, but yeah, these old wizards, they're gonna be shooting fire and ice at you. Um, you shouldn't really be getting hit by them, but just be careful because they can go through walls just like that. There it is. Yeah, that thing will follow you and keep doing multiple. So every time you get hit by that, you want to heal every single time because you can do a lot of damage pretty fast. If you want to go above this pillar, you can't walk below it. Monkey? Yeah. Uh, do not follow the monkey. If you're playing casually, you know, and you want to see what happens, feel free. Um, I'm pretty sure there's just going to be a red ogre in there. Uh, I don't remember what's in a lot of these rooms because if I haven't played this game casually in a very long time. We have passed the door up the stairs. Uh, thing going down. Yeah. yeah. This is an area where you can get stuck, but here you can see them kind of like getting stuck on each other. Always go past the red carpet room. And open this door. Alright, coming up next is the cutscene skip. This is pretty important, but also it's very, very easy. 
um, you're gonna match through all this text, and Bolt is gonna come up behind you and drag you into the room ahead of you. As he does, you wanna be mashing X. This will open the menu and stop the custom from playing, and then once the menu is up, you wanna hold down and press B out of the menu. Do not tap B, you wanna cancel the menu if you go into battle, if you go into battle mode, the cutscene will still trigger, and you'll lose like two, three minutes easily. Yep, okay, we're gonna just be mashing X, holding down, pressing B, out of the room, and then Mochi, you'll see on the top screen, Mochi will come back, and then you'll get, gain back control because Mochi comes and saves you uh, casually. Right, but here's just like a lot more of the same. Now these guys are gonna are the fast ones. These are they they go as fast, if not a little bit faster than you. So just be careful. Yeah, that was perfect. If you if you can get them stuck on things, great. They can also shoot stuff at you. Um, so just be careful. here just in case okay. all right up next is a little mini boss of Red ogre pretty strong casually but um just like in Aegis when you get to him you're just gonna use the mystery decal because he's not coded as a boss or as a special enemy These walls aren't a big deal, but just make sure you're always moving, because uh, they have a move that stops you in place and will lose a little bit of time. Alright, uh, you can just feel free to use the bath to, to save some resources. Just coming up next is the boss, and we did that with uh, three, three, three potions, pretty good. Now, this boss is very RNG heavy and when you can hit him a lot of the time, but it's like a better, it's like a more upgraded version of the first boss where you can react to everything the boss does. Now there are three, he has a couple different things. He can breathe fire, he can come hit you, and then he can pick you up in the first phase. Now, you want to be against his back wall to react to where he's going, because he'll come directly to you if he's going to do the tail swipe. Now, when he's not directly at you, he's going to blow wind. And if you react fast enough, you can get two hits. But yeah, a lot of this is going to be reacting to where he is. And after every phase, you want to go back to the, the back wall. But you should be able to get two hits on the fire pretty easily and then two hits on the wind if you react fast enough. And you want to save all your decals and all your TP for later. And when he goes up in the air, he has uh, three different things. He can summon lightning. Uh, he can do what he's doing now with it. Is snowflakes, he's just gonna dodge them, they, they fall where, wherever they are on the top screen. And then he can do fire. Now, for ice, you want to be moving, but for fire, for lightning and fire, you can go into that little nook on the side 
you can actually walk in there. Yeah, the moment you see he's he's not doing the wind and de aggro and walk away, you should be able to dodge it in the first phase. The second phase is a little, a little bit faster, so it's a, lot, it's a little bit harder to dodge. And you don't need to walk directly up this, you know, I feel like right here you can probably still hit him. So be very careful uh, guessing wrong because if he's going for a tail swipe and you're there long enough, he can also pick you up and do a lot of damage to you. Okay, nice again. This is pretty bad because, yeah, all, all the ones on the top screen are pretty bad because they, they waste so much time. to get yourself cornered. Um, this is a real lot harder to dodge. When he, when he comes, you want to be walking towards the center of the stage if you can. Snow again, huh? A lot of snow. Better pay it safe, I'm sorry. You know, getting as long as you get one hit on the freeze that you can get a hit on, you're good. This is fire. Usually, I've, I've never gotten hit in here, but who knows? It might one day happen. Always aggro up just so you're ready to do a hit in case you go straight into wind. You always want to stand kind of diagonal just in case. Uh, like an area where he doesn't really hit.
Yeah, the enemy would be like pretty centralized on where he is on the top screen. So he's on the left, it won't usually go towards the, the right side of the thing. This is the second phase. Here, the Bull and Lester are gonna show up, and you're gonna run straight in here so they both can't hit you. And you have a couple options. If you have a good balloon, the balloon will usually kill, do most of the damage, and you can just fight them off from there. Um, using either Mochi, Sun Moon, some combination of those three will definitely get them killed. Um, and if you can, I, I found, I have found on a good balloon decal, it will almost kill them and you can use the other two decals for the second phase of the dragon fight. But if you can use at least one of these for the dragon, it will be good. Um, balloon right now isn't great. Um, but I'm probably going to use Mochi and the balloon because there's a 50-50 chance of this not doing damage and just putting them to sleep. And I'd rather put the dragon sleep just so we can get a lot of hits on it. So we're gonna start off with Mochi, see how much damage it does. And very important, when you're using both, you have to wait until the out of hit's done to use the other one. So wait until they're kind of moving again before you put the other decal out or it won't damage them. Pretty good. Free hit. Heal. Very important. Could eat a burger. She gets a little bit more defense, a little more health. But yeah, don't worry. On a good balloon, they, they would they would be dead. That one should go pretty pretty smoothly as long as, as you get into the the awning in time. Phase two, all the attacks on are different. So now, instead of the snow coming straight down, it'll come at you. So just you know, make sure you're moving. Should be a good, you know, a couple hits here. Oops. Yeah, so in this phase, the 
uh, tail swipe happens a lot faster, so it's gonna be a lot harder to get out of the way. But luckily, this fire pattern is a lot easier to if you wanna, you know, really go for another hit. Instead of doing like 30 damage, the fire only will, will usually only hit you once. still gonna be the same. Yeah, I don't know if the hitbox is bigger on that, or if he's attacking faster, but I found it a lot harder to dodge it during this phase. Fire is pretty much the same, but I think it's just uh, the dragon is just more. Yeah, that, that's basically the, the whole fight.
yeah, you really want to save your TP, but you can get the last hit. You know, going for one isn't terrible. Probably has one or two more hits left. So that was Dragon. That's the last, you know, big boss. So we're gonna decal it. And then up next is the final, final boss, which is a 1v1 fight with Mint. And this fight's gonna be exactly like the fight with Bull on Aegis, where you're just gonna be attacking, hitting, and if she starts to hit lock you, uh, use your double strike to get past it. Uh, she has a chance to stun you, you know, just, you know, circle the D-pad get, to get out of it. Um, and then final hit on mint is going to be time. Uh, if you have a strawberry, you know, it'll raise your agility up for like 10 seconds, so... I don't know if it ever helps, but I always feel like it might. So like here is where I would double slash just to help get out of that loop. As soon as you're around 80 health, you just heal because that's how much the potion does. Also, very important to use all your, you know, you can't save any of your decals here because unfortunately, no decals for this fight for some reason. Alright, and that was time. So, you have completed your contact run. Um, if you want, there's some, you know, you can, up, you can stick around for the credits. Usually when I PB, I go all the way to the final screen to get the end. Uh, just because that's one of my favorite songs in the game. That's kind of my, my reward for doing a good job. Um, but yeah, I do hope this helps somebody. You know, if you want to run the game, which I hope you do. Um, but yeah. That is all she wrote. I have to get ready for work. I'm a I like this. I'm gonna it up on YouTube or whatever. Uh, cool. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter. PSI underscore sig is me on everything. So yeah. All right, thanks. Yes.